Hi, I'm Sammy. This is going to be your daily All Signs reading. Just a quickie for All Signs for today, February 3rd. Please like this video and subscribe. If you guys like these daily videos, let me know and I'll try to do them every day. <laughs> Thank you. We'll start with Capricorn. Actually, we'll start with the collective. Collective spirit, tell me about today for the collective. Okay, we got two of wands, making plans for the future. The star, enlightenment. This is Aquarian energy, which we have so much of right now. The magician, creating. And four of wands, which is finding stability, uh, could be marriage or higher commitment, 11, 11 card, that um, could be twin flames or soulmate union. So the energy of today seems to be that we're making plans, embodying this Aquarian energy, looking forward to the future and what we can create to find more stability as a collective in your individual lives, etc. So that's good. Thank you, Spirit. Looking for stability, happiness, comfort, home life. And I think this Mercury retrograde really helps to bring that about. Like um, having to reassess things that we've gone through as a collective and individually helps us during this time of so much Aquarian energy to really look towards the future and what we want to create. So. Remember that you are the magician, and you can create and have the life you want. Thank you, Spirit. Tell me about Capricorn for today, February 3rd. Tell me about Capricorns. The Empress in Reverse. You could be uh, finding things kind of getting in your way today. Maybe feeling like you're having a harder time than usual getting things done. You may also be feeling uh, less confident than normal. Maybe a little bit of self-doubt um, or lack of abundance. Be careful not to get stuck in a lack mentality today. And just keep in mind that we are all the magicians, right? Spirit said. For the collective. <laughs> what else for Capricorn? Tell me about Capricorn. You're needing to find more confidence, I think. Just have more confidence in yourself today. Get on your... Uh, Queen of Wands type energy. Okay, Page of Pentacles. This is like looking for an offer, looking for a new beginning, wanting a, an offer to come in, wanting to take advantage of a new opportunity. You may have a new opportunity coming in today, so you need to be confident. Even if you feel like you're not, you have some self-doubt things happening, you're going to need to be confident. We also have Three of Swords. So this is heartbreak. Heartbreak could have caused this. Some sort of loss, pain, suffering um, in the past could come up today, okay? Um, and that may be why you feel this self-doubt issue. But there is a chance for a new beginning here. Page of Pentacles is someone possibly offering you a new beginning or you're just thinking about a new beginning. How am I going to get over this pain? How am I going to move forward? Ten of Cups on the bottom. This is you moving toward your most fulfilling, passionate home life, happy family life. Ten of Cups is complete fulfillment. So I think you're moving out of this heartbreak. You're moving towards uh, a new opportunity here today. So that's really good. Capricorn, you've been in this stage of trying to heal past pain. So go for this new opportunity. Put aside any self-doubt and get your confidence going, okay? Aquarius, please. Aquarius for today, February 3rd. Tell me about Aquarius. Spirit wants to shuffle. 
Thank you. Tell me about Aquarius for today, please. star that's you full of Aquarian energy enlightenment you may be asking for something praying for something wishing for something today or a wish may come true today three of swords in reverse this is healing from heartbreak so Aquarius you may have gone through something today you're working on healing that coming out of pain coming out of a place of heartache and because you are an Aquarius, all of this Aquarian energy is probably really helping you to self-identify, reevaluate what you want going forward, what you want your future to look like. So some sort of wish fulfillment today, uh, answer prayer, I would expect good things and or a sense of enlightenment or an epiphany. Something may come around today and make you uh, realize something about yourself and that helps you to heal and move forward from whatever this past pain is and we have the Empress again so it seems like the collective is really feeling this today strength card use your inner strength remember you can create anything the Empress creates whatever she wants she births anything into the physical okay so you can manifest you're getting some sort of wish come true today or an answered prayer some sort of clarity or an epiphany moving out of heartbreak finding inner strength and confidence recognizing you are the empress you're very attractive <coughs> excuse me you're very attractive right now Aquarius so you know and when you start getting attention or um, you may be getting recognition in the workplace something like that you start feeling better about yourself and then you understand that you are the empress and you're very abundant and beautiful and you can have anything that you want Thank you. Tell me about Pisces. Page of Swords. You may be uh, researching today, uh, studying, thinking back on things. Um, also, maybe wanting to have a conversation. Page of Swords is also kind of a card of. Um, technology wherein like you could be keeping an eye on someone or someone is keeping an eye on you you may have people who watch you online or check your Instagram or your social media or you could be <laughs> stalking someone online today <laughs> tell me about Pisces this is more so I think researching uh, thinking about your future in the sense like what do I need to do? How can I get these things together? And you could be studying, going over some things, <clears throat> or you could be wanting to have a conversation as well. Through technology is possible. Three of Wands. This is looking out, uh, wanting expansion. This could be waiting for something to come in. You could have been waiting for someone for a while. But Three of Wands is like okay I'm here <laughs> like where's all the things that I was promised I've been waiting for this and also it's a sense of wanting to get out there more wanting to see what else is out there expanding your horizons um, maybe wanting to travel you could be researching travel today like uh, booking a cruise or looking at flights that sort of energy You may be thinking about going on vacation. This girl is holding a surfboard. Maybe you want to hit the beach. Nine of Pentacles. This is like a single woman energy, wanting to be self-sufficient. Um, it seems like you've probably been working on something, studying something, working towards something, and you're waiting for your blessings. You're waiting for this abundance and this sense of independence and self-sufficiency to come in for you. So this is really good energy. Nine of Pentacles is... Um, uh, energy of luxury and the star. This Aquarian energy is helping you um, 
to be more independent, to look more into the future, possibly going back and studying things in order to better yourself for your future. But <coughs> it looks good. You may have a money opportunity that comes in today that will help you to be more independent. Okay, and or you might be looking into those sort of things today. Thank you. Tell me about Aries. No, 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 no. Two of Pentacles. You could be confused right now, juggling. Okay, today you may have um, two opportunities. That's possible. Two different streams of income. Um, two things coming at you where you're really going to have to weigh it out and make a choice. Two of Pentacles is also about your future. Pink man, yeah, you're, you seem to be today in a stage where you're, um, you're kind of confused about what you're supposed to do next, and you're taking a pause of reflection. The Hank man is like, I don't really know what to do yet, so I'm just gonna wait it out. Two of Pentacles is like juggling, okay? And we have Two of Swords on the bottom. Wow, you do have a decision to make today, um, or, or at least you're thinking about the decision that you need to make. Two twos and the hanged man. Twos are creating. They're the builder, master builder is the number 22. So I would say today, Aries, take your time. You already are reflecting on something, weighing out the pros and cons. Uh, you're going to make this decision today. This thing is weighing heavily on your mind, so... Uh, Try not to fret about it. You're going to make the best decision. You're taking your time, so don't worry about this thing. Okay, three of swords on the bottom. You may be worried that this is going to cause pain, or you may be in a, a place of pain, and that's where this is coming from. Deciding, like, do I stay? Do I go? Do I choose this? Do I choose this? You may be deciding between two different people for some of you. Mm. But you're going to make a choice today, I feel. Okay, and it's a mental thing, but you've already weighed out the pros and cons. Okay. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you're worried about something. You have a fear. Eight of, eight of Swords. Something is fearful. You're worried you're not going to make the right choice, but you will. Tell me about Taurus. Taurus, please, Spirit. Ten of Pentacles, Reverse. You may be feeling unhappy or unstable in your family life, home life, or security as far as your job goes. Something that used to feel good maybe doesn't feel too good today. Or at least you're in this place of thinking about that Nine of Cups is emotional fulfillment. You seem to be wanting more emotional fulfillment. Something is lacking stability or security right now. And you moving towards Nine of Cups is moving towards your wish come true. So you may be finding stability in your own emotions. So that's really good energy to be in. And Five of Pentacles. Yeah, someone is feeling very insecure. You may have experienced a loss or you may experience a loss today. Remember in these Mercury retrograde energies, a lot of things are coming up. Things are coming up to be healed. Things are coming up from the past that we need to reassess and think about. So any insecurity or loss, past trauma, past issues in relationships, those things are going to be coming up until Mercury comes direct, which is on the 21st. So something doesn't feel good, you don't feel good within, but you have this idea of emotional fulfillment, you know what you want and you're moving towards this emotional stability within yourself. There's just some sort of insecurity or lack, abandonment issues possibly might come up for you today or you may feel like someone uh, kind of left you out today. But you know what you want, you're going to find that emotional stability. Tell me about Gemini. Tell me about Gemini Spirit. Gemini for today, February 3rd.
Gemini, please, for today. Tell me about Gemini's current energies for the 3rd of February. Six of Swords. Okay. <clears throat> Six of Swords is moving on. Okay, it's kind of... Ten of Swords. Yeah, you're going to let go of some past pain, or you've done so. Uh, maybe you're thinking about this, but you're moving on from some sort of past pain, betrayal, hurt. The hurt is over. You've decided to move forward, move on. You could be moving on from a painful situation, like as in an argument. Um, like, let's just let it be. But this seems more like something has ended and you're moving on. Something that caused you some pain. Ace of Pentacles, new beginning coming in for you, okay? So a new beginning in abundance. You could be getting a promotion. Um getting some money somehow you know like a scratch off or something or someone get pays your way into wherever some kind of paying it forward and or a brand new opportunity instability and a stable relationship may come in for you okay you're moving on you're doing the right thing Gemini justice justice was served in this situation that means the cycle is over the pain is over moving on will help you and you're moving towards a brand new beginning Thank you. Tell me about Cancer. Cancer, please, for February 3rd. The moon. Ooh. That's kind of your energy. The moon. Cancer is ruled by the moon. If you didn't know that, you should know that. I'm sure you do. Okay, so... We have the moon and the emperor. You could be um, listening to some guidance today, getting some guidance. Watch out for signs today. Something is empowering you to gain your strength back, gain control over a situation. You could be moving in a new direction, but this is about you um, taking control back, taking authority over your own life. And whatever the situation is, Queen of Wands on the bottom, okay? You could be dealing with a fire sign, or this is just you gaining your confidence back, stepping into who you are, aligning back with the self, and this is guided, okay? This is emotionally guided. Um, be careful of illusion as well. You're not dealing with this anymore though. Whatever this is that made you feel weird or feel off emotionally, you're listening to your guidance and you're finding your strength somehow, okay? You're gaining your strength, you're getting your confidence, and you're just like, mm, no, I'm going to do this. The Emperor is a great energy to have. You have the Moon, the Emperor, and Queen of Wands. So you could be dealing with an Emperor. It's an Aries energy. Uh, you could have fire in your chart or be dealing with the fire sign. But it seems like you've come to a decision or you're being guided to a decision to just take care of yourself right now um, or take initiative, take a stand, and be very firm in where you're headed. Thank you, Spirit. Tell me about... I didn't even ask yet. It popped up for Leo. Nine of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Someone's feeling guarded. Okay, or you may be fighting or pushing through for something today. You could be feeling like you have to protect yourself or defend yourself. We have the wheel on the bottom. You want a brand new beginning in something. Okay, this is a, a cycle that is either come to a close or starting brand new. So only you know that. We do have five of pinnacles, which is dealing with an insecurity or a loss. Someone feels guarded, it seems, because of someone leaving them out in the cold or feeling abandoned by someone or a fear of abandonment. The wheel is a brand new beginning. So this is you coming out of an insecure place. You don't want to be too guarded, okay? But you do want to protect yourself. The wheel is about things starting to turn in your favor. So deal with these issues of insecurity. Try not to be too guarded. Don't hold on to grudges, Leo. Okay, but if you're needing to fight for something and fight through some sort of insecurity issue, definitely do that because we have the wheel here. Just like a brand new beginning, it's the wheel turning in your favor and it's like a brand new cycle beginning. Thank you. Tell me about Virgo spirit. 
Tell me about Virgo today for February 3rd. Four of Cups. The Fool. Okay, you're kind of bored, Virgo. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, you maybe you want a new beginning, okay? You're kind of bored, discontent. You have this inner strength. Something, some sort of fire is fueling you. You want a new beginning. You could be dealing with the fire sign. Eight of Cups popped out and King of Swords. It seems like you're turning away from something. You're not looking back, okay? Something is like it wasn't fulfilling for you emotionally. It wasn't what you wanted, and you want a brand new beginning. A lot of fire energy here. Water as well, and then King of Swords is just very firm. You could easily cut people out right now. You could easily make uh, firm decisions for yourself today. Someone is walking away from an emotional um, situation that was not fulfilling. Okay, Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. What you want is this is a happy home and family life. Okay, so it seems like you're headed towards that stable home, secure home, family life where all your needs are met. Right now, your emotional needs aren't being met. So, thank you, Virgo. Ace of Cups, new love, new love, Virgo. Okay. Jeez, I didn't even ask for these. <laughs> Okay, let's start over. Libra. Virgo, you really wanted to talk. You got a lot of cards jump out. You're going through something very emotional right now. Tell me about Libra. Tell me about Libra for today, February 3rd. Libra. Libra for today, February 3rd. Nine of Cups. Okay, this is emotional fulfillment. This could be emotional stability on your own, feeling more secure in yourself, finding your happiness on your own. And the lovers. Okay, this is like a wish fulfillment. Okay, you may have been praying for a loving connection or to come back with the lover. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, working on yourself the devil. You may be overcoming addictions or control issues. Okay, don't try to trap someone. <laughs> I don't think you are. But um, Nine of Cups is finding emotional stability in yourself and in a partnership with the lovers. So the more you work on yourself, the more you become uh, stable in your own energy emotionally, the better off this loving connection will be with this lover. It could be a Gemini. Um, but there's water and earth signs here too, and the devil is Capricorn. Okay, so be careful of addiction, be careful of control issues, trying to control something. Working on yourself and working on this connection is going to bring wish fulfillment. That's the best thing I can tell you, summarizing this reading. It's going to take more effort to find emotional stability. But the lovers is there. That's a divine connection. So that's really great. Thank you. Tell me about Scorpio spirit. Tell me about Scorpio. Something flipped and then it went back in. Tell me about Scorpio for today, February 3rd. Okay, there's something about a connection, Libra. Yeah. Well, that could have been for Scorpio. 
Something is off, okay? A connection is misaligned right now. Working on yourself is the only way to, to find that connection. Tell me about Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio, please. The Hermit Reverse. Scorpio, you could have been taking a lot of time in isolation recently. Working on yourself, healing, finding higher knowledge and wisdom, connecting to spirit. Uh, and you're wanting to come out of that now. So you're coming out of isolation. This energy of all this Aquarius may be wanting, um, making you want to be more social. Spend more time with friends, go out with friends. Coming out of isolation, this could be in a relationship or just in general. That's too many. Sorry guys. That's too many Scorpio. <clears throat> Tell me about Scorpio, the Hermit Reverse. You could have been taking separation from someone and now you're ready to talk. Tell me about Scorpio. Scorpio for today, February 3rd. Maybe you're in isolation and you don't want to talk. Because you're not talking to me, Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio's energy for today, February 3rd, Spirit. If you find yourself wanting to isolate today, Eight of Wands reverse. Yeah. There, there may have been no communication or there's no communication between you and someone or you don't feel like talking. You really don't feel like talking. Eight of Wands reverse. No messages coming in. Nothing moving forward. You may feel stuck right now in a dark place um, where in order to get things moving, this is referring to an emotional stability, okay? Ten of Cups, an emotional fulfilling thing, place, relationship, job, whatever this is for you today. Uh, there's no communication. Okay, so if you want to get things moving, if you want to come out of isolation, you need to talk about this. Or messages need to come forward. Things need to start moving forward. Staying stuck is not really going to help you. Okay, focus on those Ten of Cups, the emotional stability that you seek, and the fulfillment that you seek, and get out of that dark place mentally. It seems like you're coming out of it. Um, but there's still like no message. There's nothing moving forward. No talking. No, I don't know. The fool. You may want a new beginning. You may want to start over. Okay, start over from scratch. But the fool is a great energy to have. It's a leap of faith, and it's uh, very adventurous and fearless sort of energy. It's like come what may sort of energy. Stop. Now you want to talk a lot. Two of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, you could be coming out of a state of confusion. You may have been thinking away your options for a while, like going back and forth in your mind. And now it seems like you're ready, but you have to move things forward. You have to communicate. Or maybe your partner, whoever this is. Could be your boss. The energy is stagnant, so you need to move that forward. Okay, that's enough for Scorpio. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Tell me about Sagittarius for today, February 3rd. Sagittarius for today, February the 3rd.
whoa, whoa. Here we go. Knight of Wands. Nine of Wands. Okay, so um, someone's taking action. Could be on a creative project. Could be on a more passionate project. But, and you have the chariot. Okay, moving forward in a new direction. Okay, you've come to a decision or or um, you feel like you've you're being pushed in some direction okay nine of wands is fighting for something protecting something you could have your guard up about something it's like someone wants this passionate creative new they want to go out and take action but something is holding them back you have to move in a new direction the chariot is here to move you to get you on the right path Okay, and the Empress energy is here. Someone wants some sort of passionate new beginning, okay? But something is holding you back. Or something, there's some sort of barrier or wall between you and this thing. You feel like something is stuck or something is in between. Maybe there's steps that need to be taken. Or you could have a barrier between you and your person. Whatever this is, take it out resonate Sagittarius. But the chariot is going to move you in a new direction. Okay, you could be walking away from someone or something. This is just taking control of your own life. Taking the reins. Someone may have been trying to control you in the past, but you're coming into your own and it's like you know your worth. You know that you're very attractive. You know that you're abundant and you can have anything you want. So if you're fighting someone on this, if you're standing your ground, that's very good. Standing up for yourself, taking a new leap of faith, taking a direction, that's completely different. Putting you on uh, your path it's like course correction for you okay so that's a good energy to have today Sagittarius it's a lot of fire for you so thank you for watching please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one